Hey all of you, hope you guys are great and welcome back to the full stack NFT marketplace API development course. So in the last video, we had successfully refactored the entire code and converted that our filter system into a reusable component. So if you haven't watched that, I'll link the video in the i button in the description so you guys can follow that. In this video, we're going to work on the aggregate pipeline of MongoDB. Okay, so this is going to be a very interesting topic because in this we're going to do some cool stuff with the data. Okay. So here I have opened the project and where we left in the last video. So let's come up here and we'll scroll all the way down. You can see all the functionality we have work on alias router and get all NFT, delete NFT. Everything is here. So what I will do, I'll come here. I will call it aggregate pipeline. Okay. So this is a very important concept in MongoDB. Okay. So suppose you have a data and you want to do a certain calculation. You want to find out the average of the entire NFT. Okay, you want to find out the average of a price, average price of an entire NFT which you have in your database. Okay, so if you want to do those kind of calculation in such scenario, we have to use the aggregate pipeline, which is available in Mongoose. So that's what we're going to do here. So let's create a function. We'll call it export get stats. Okay, so this is the name I have given because here we're going to calculate some stats about the data and it will call the same request response and it's going to be an error function we'll take this try and catch and here we have to send the the response okay so let's open this delete one and we have to send the same response copy copy the response and send it back here so that's the setup we have done and now we're going to do something magical so let's come here and let's come here we have to take a variable called stats okay so that's the data we're going to send back to the client after doing all the calculation so let's come here we'll take the nft and we're going to call this aggregate okay so this is the method we have in mongoose okay so still if you have any confusion you can visit the mongo documentation they have explained everything about this aggregate okay so again i'm not including that part in this video because i don't want to make this video long okay so right now we have this aggregate and here we have to define this array and here we're going to write down all the objects okay so generally we'll pass those function in the form of object to do the calculation so first thing let me show you first we'll have this match property okay so if we want to match anything in our database so for example if i want to match the data on the base of the id on the base not on the base of the id on the base of the likes on the base of the price okay so this is the match function we have in our mongoose okay make sure you have to provide the dollar sign and then you have to provide this method you can for more information you can visit the documentation but i'm going to use it so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to call this rating so rating and i will say rating average and in this i'm going to pass an object okay so it's just like an object inside object and inside object okay so we have nested object here and here we're going to call this greater and equal method okay so we have to provide this dollar sign and we have to provide this sign getter and equal to and we have to provide the rating so 4.5 okay and here we try to create a match between the nfts where their rating is greater than equal to or higher or less okay so that's the simple match we have here so it will make sense just work along with me okay write down all the functionality so when we do the testing it will make sense so we have this rating average and let's create a one more function we have it's called group okay and this one is really powerful i really like this one because you can segregate the data based on the group okay for example in this nft we have difficulties so we have three types of difficulty we have easy medium and difficult okay so if you want to differentiate if you want to make a group so the reason why i'm building out the stats because sometimes what happened that like your manager your product manager says that you have to build out the system where it's calculate the like average rating it's make the data into a group okay so this a uh, real world business problem okay so here we are trying to solve the real world business problem we are trying to create the average of the entire data so we have to give an identifier this identifier could be anything so here i am going to provide this identifier as a null okay i'm not going to identify anything as a group and here we have to take the average okay average rating and this is the name i have given average rating and here you have to provide that so we have to make sure you give this dollar sign and you have to give this average so the mongoose will know that okay it's a we have to calculate the average and here you have to provide the field name okay so make sure you provide this dollar sign and you have to give the average rating exact name you have to give which you have defined in the model okay so this is the 
uh, the field we have average rating so it will give the average of the entire nft let's take the average of the let's say price so same function we have to call average and here we have to pass the price same thing we go with the minimum price if you want to calculate the minimum price so we can do that we'll call this main function and we'll say pass the price here same goes for the maximum price and we'll say max and we have to pass the price so it will give the minimum price in our database so we have 1000 nft and if you want to find the lowest minimum price of uh, of nft we can get it if you want to get the highest price of an nft the highest one we can get it okay so that's what we want to get it here so that's the simple group we have but right now we don't try to identify with the group okay so we try to simply calculate the data so that's the data we have here it will make sense okay when we do the testing it will make sense so that's what we have here and this is simply copy this because we want to send the response back and here we're going to send the response instead of this we're going to say 200 and here we have to send the data not null okay so simply copy this stat and we have to send back here so we'll take this status and we're going to send it back so now we can test it out that how it will look okay so make sure copy this one and come back to the router and we have to build the router for this okay because we don't have the router for that so i'll come here and i'm going to create a stats router i'll say router dot route and here i'm going to simply paste that nft stats and here i'm going to simply get the get method and here we're going to paste that nft control dot simply okay what happened and simply remove this portion okay so now everything's looking good we have the router we have the function ready and now we can test this out so let's simply run and start the development and here our server is running fine now we can come back to the postman save it all things are working fine we can get all the data now simply copy this entire one and close all this existing one and save this one save this one and now we can paste the router here okay so this is the main domain and now we have to call the this nft stats router nothing fancy we have done we are following the same old school okay so let's call the router here and now we can make the request if we make the request and here you can see this is not what we wanted it gave us the entire pipeline we have defined in our aggregator so you can see whatever we have defined we are getting the exact pipeline here so we have the pipeline we have the match but this is what we wanted we wanted the actual data so let's come back to the code and let's see what's the problem we have here okay we have to convert this function into a async function because we are dealing with the promises so let's convert it and let's make it wait and now it will work fine okay so let's come back to the code and let's hit the request one more time and boom here you can see we have calculated the average rating okay so we have close to nine nfts and we are calculating the average rating we are calculating the average price we are calculating the min price so this is the minimum price we have assigned to nft and this is the max price okay so our aggregator pipeline is working and we can easily able to calculate so you can do a hell lot of things this is a simple calculation which you can do on your data so it's working fine you can see all the functions are working fine average price main price and the max price we have here so this is the data we got let's come back to the code and that's what we have here we can do a lot of things let, let me show you a couple of examples okay i included this because i wanted to show you that this is how you get a real world problem and this is how you can use it the power of mongoose to solve this kind of problem okay so this is not what we're going to use in our api in in our nft api we're going to make it and convert it from the different prospectors okay so that's the topic for the letter okay so let's focus on this stats and let's see a couple of more method so here we can come here and if we want to calculate that how many nfts we have okay so we can calculate the number as well so we can say sum up and we provide one okay and we can provide the rating number of rating we can get and if i want to calculate that i can simply do like sum and i can say in that i have to pass this simple rating and pass it here with the dollar sign and it will work fine if i say if i save i come back and make a request you can see total number of nft i have nine i have like number of ratings total number of rating i have got is seven two seventy okay so all together we have nine and we got two seventy ratings and we have average rating so everything is working fine so we can easily able to sum up okay simple maths we are doing here in the aggregate pipeline 
so let me find now that's what we have and let's convert this to nft number okay that makes sense so now let me show you that how you can do grouping okay so here we have to pass the id okay we have to pass the variable on which we want to add the group in okay so what i can do i will take this difficulty and that's the difficulty i have here i can simply paste and i can come here i can make a request okay so i get id as a difficulty but this is not what i wanted this is the one we have and here i have to provide this dollar sign i forgot to add that one okay so that's why it was not working and now we have the grouping if i come and make a request and here you can see we have created three different groups you can see the id first one is the easy group second one is the medium group and third one is the difficult group and this is what it makes this group powerful okay powerful okay you can easily able to define and all the math calculation will happen on the base of the grouping okay you can see do we have different stat do we have different price range we have different main price max price rating average price so this will divide it into a different grouping so that's what we can do with the grouping and you can do grouping with the multiple way okay so if i comment this out and if this time i want to do the grouping on the base of the average rating i can do that simply place this and come here you can see here you can see we have this grouping this time we have the grouping on the base of the rating so we have 4.8 we have one we have 4.7 we have two nft with 4.7 7 rating we have 4.6 1 nft we have 4.5 with 2 nfts and we have 4.9 with 3 nft okay so that's how you can do the grouping and calculate the stats so that's also working fine let's comment this up okay and here what i can do i can do something better here. Okay? i'm going to use this wrap this into this brackets and i'm going to uppercase convert this difficulty into uppercase so this is how you can do it i'm going to call this mongoose method to uppercase and it will convert this difficulty text to uppercase so save it and you can see here we have that if we make the request and boom here we got into uppercase so medium difficulty easy you can do hell lot of things so make sure to read the documentation and from where i'm getting all of these things from where i'm telling you all of these things so that's the only place we can go to take the reference okay so that's how you can do it so that's looking absolutely fine and let's do couple of more interesting things so we can come down and we're going to do a couple of more tests you can see this one is looking fine no problem we have here and now i want to show you a couple of more methods okay so let's come down and this time i'm going to call this short method okay so this short function is totally rely on the group okay and all the calculation will happen on the grouping so that's the thing you have to keep in mind and here we can define it okay so if we want to short the data like we have to pick the variable which we want to use at to short the data and we can provide this one if you do this why we are getting this error that's why simply cut this one and make it out of this okay so i place it to the wrong place and now everything's looking fine so it will start from lower to higher okay so we have 4.8 and this is that how it works okay it's not that useful but you can do that as well Let's take the another method and this time we're going to call this match okay so you can call the same function multiple time in the same pipeline okay so we have already used this match on top but here we are using one more time i just i'm just using to show you that you can do that you have this option so let's come up here and here i'm going to target the id and what i want so that's what i can do if i save it i can come here and if i make a request you can see that so i believe that you guys have understood that how you can use this aggregate pipeline to do this mathematical calculation on your data okay so i think i try to cover almost everything whatever you have to know to find out the data to do the basic calculation okay so we use this much there is a lot of property which you can check which is related to month date year so all those things we have there so if you want to if you have your data like that so you can refer to that with that i'm ending this video in the next video we'll have a one more example about this aggregate pipeline because this is a very important concept which you have to keep in mind okay so we're going to create one more router which is very important for the API and that's what we're going to do in the next video and we're going to follow the same aggregate model. So let's move to that.